Hello and welcome to the final day of Major League Baseball's regular season. And it's a huge day in the AL Wild Card race as four teams are hoping to fill the two remaining postseason berths. Now we cross live to Detroit and speak to Tigers GM Arthur Villain. And Arthur, can your team do it here tonight? Yeah, look, I mean, I'm not hopeful, to be honest with you, mate. Uh, you know, Ectus has been poor all season. Our lineup looks like Swiss cheese thanks to injuries. And, uh, well, the Yankees are just bastards, aren't they? But um, who knows? Maybe the others will lose as well. Hey guys, I'm Ozzy Villain, and welcome back to the Detroit Tigers. It's Season 6, Episode 9, and today it is the final day of the regular season. We host the Yankees, and if we win, we're in the postseason. If we lose, then we are praying that uh, things go our way elsewhere in order to, uh, to qualify for the postseason, of course. Now, if we just focus in on the wild card because the division is gone, Cleveland have won that, and the White Sox have clinched a playoff place as well. There are actually four teams that can still make it. The Twins have a doubleheader. They are hosting the Angels in a doubleheader. Now, the Angels are a very good team. I would be surprised if the, the Twins won both games, but you never know. The Mariners are at uh, San, Di uh, San Diego, or at San Antonio even, and the Royals are hosting uh, the Jays. Now, the Jays are a decent side. Uh, San Antonio is a decent enough side, but I'm not completely confident that that, uh, that either of them will beat you know, uh, Kansas City or Seattle. So we really do need to win, and ideally... You know, in a perfect world, we actually want to come probably third here. Now, the reason for that is that I believe it would mean we would face the Orioles. Now, the Orioles are actually a worse team than us uh, in terms of their record, uh, certainly coming into this one anyway. It's just that, uh, well, they're in a weak division this season, so they've uh, they've managed to get themselves into the uh, win the, the AL East. So if we're being really picky, that'd be a nice thing to happen, but we just need to get there, don't we? If we have to play the White Sox, you know, we play the White Sox. That's uh, that's just how it is. Now, not too much has changed since yesterday's episode where, of course, we lost to the Yankees. So let's go and check these lineups ahead of the final game. It's so, so tense. Come on, Detroit, on your feet and give your Tigers a big let's make the postseason welcome as they take the field. At first base tonight, it's Kasten Hura. At second base, it's C.J. Abram. At third base, it's Arrow Vera. The shortstop is Jose Lopez. In left field, it's James Wood. In center field, it's Kyoto Takazawa. In right field, it's Monte Harrison. The designated hitter is Tony Vega. Behind the plate tonight, it's Blake Hunt. And the starting pitcher is Josh Ackner. All right, so here we go. Abrams leads us off at second base. Takazawa bat second in center field. They're both tied. They can rest in. They can rest after this one if we lose. So they're playing. Uh, Vera is at third and bats third. Vega is the designated hitter at four. Uh, it's Keston Hewitt at first base batting five. James Wood gets the start for this one in place of Cabrera. Uh, he's in left field and bats six. Matt Monte Harrison in right field bats seven. Jose Lopez, the shortstop, bats eight. Blake Hunt, the catcher, bats nine. Josh Eknes is on the mound. He has a 9-12 and record this season, a 5.44 ERA, a whip of 150. He's not been good, despite the fact he is actually attribute-wise good. We're up against Garrett Cole. We'll check his fingers for sticky stuff, but, uh, I mean, he's got 8-5 record, an ERA of 3.91, a, a whip of 121. Everything suggests that they, uh, that they have the better pitcher and the better batters, so we're really going to struggle here, potentially. But here we are, welcome to Comerica Park, hopefully not for the last time this season, and uh, it's going to be Volpe leading them off, batting 238 this season. Now, Eknes has 196 strikeouts for the season, so it would be nice, if nothing else, to see him get to 200. We're under heavy clouds, so could we end up with a rain delay here as well? Um, now, we would have to, and that's been popped up, Takazawa comes in, he'll make the catch, and that'll be one away. Seven innings is the game, isn't it? So we want to try and make sure we're ahead at seven inning, if that is the case. Not that we wouldn't try to be. And that is, oh, a good catch. Wood out there makes a stunning catch. Two away. 
And uh, in comes Torres now, batting 269 this season. That is popped straight up. That should be easy for Takazawa. Strolls over, makes the catch. We're out of the first. One, two, three inning for Eknes. And it will be CJ Abrams to lead us off, batting 256 this season. I did have a look at playing Xavier Edwards, at, uh, and he gets a walk to start things off. And again, we know he's one of the leading uh, base stealers in baseball. Takazawa comes in now, batting 273. First pitch, lays down a bunt, and it gets Abrams over to second. One away, and it's Vera now, batting 258 this season. First pitch, there goes Abrams, and oh, he's got to third as well. He is absolutely rapid. A 43rd stolen base. And can Vera now drive in that run? A 1-0 pitch. Vera grounds it to the first baseman. It will give us a lead. And uh, with two away, it's going to be Vega, who is batting 243 this season. And Vega has sent it deep. Has Tony Vega done it on YouTube? It is out of here! Finally, finally, Tony Vega has hit a home run on YouTube. 376 feet. It's 2-0 in the bottom of the first. And there's been a lot of talk on the Discord about how Tony Vega does not show up for these games. Well, he's shown up there. It is Keston Hura now. 3-0 uh, pitch, and he draws a walk. And, of course, that home run puts Vega on 49 for the season now. Uh, so if he gets one more, obviously, that'll be a nice round 50. James Wood comes in. Batting 5 4 something not much this season he's popped that up as well that'll do it for the first but we've given ourselves a two-run lead off one hit as well which is always satisfying when you're not the pitching side Agnes will face Stanton batting 247 this year he's got a good jump out of the batter's box Abrams gets to the ball but he can't make a play so a leadoff single now they don't have uh, Judge in their lineup today I wonder if he's being rested of course, their season is over. That could be a double play. There's one, and there is two. Excellent defensive work from our infield. Pitcher gets across there as well, and it's Yondri Johas now batting 291. It's a 1-1 pitch. Two out, no one on. Ground ball to second base. Abrams has dropped it. CJ with the error. So let's hope we don't pay a price for that. Adams comes in now batting 232, a full count, a ground ball to third base, and that should be easy enough. It is. And we'll go to the bottom of the second. 2-0 to the good. And Monte Harrison will lead us off batting 200, or more accurately, 3 for 15 this season, and he watches strike three. In comes Lopez now batting 256. It's an 0-2 pitch. A reminder, too, we will be voting on the MVP at, uh, at the seventh inning stretch, so make sure you don't uh, you don't miss that. Link in the top of the description will be there as well. Uh, and it is Hunt with two out, no one on. A 3-1 pitch. Blake Hunt draws the two-out walk. Bringing back up Abrams, who owes us for the error. He walked first time around. A 1-0 pitch this time, and he grounds it to the third baseman, out at second. And that'll do it for the second as well. All right, it is Pereira coming in for them, batting 238. An 0-2 pitch. Can Agnes notch up a strikeout here? Yes, he can. 197 for the season. Matthew Nelson, who's batting 182. Another 0-2 pitch. 198 for the season. And can he strike out the side here in the top of the third? Volpe, who's 0 for 1. It's a 1-0, so no, he can't. But can we have a 1-2-3 inning? It's a ground ball to the third baseman. Vera over to first. Hura makes the play. And we'll go and have a bat. Still 2-0 up. Takazawa to lead us off. He, uh, what did he do? Sack bunted last time around. And this time he walks. So lead off man aboard. Takazawa is quick, but he's not a great stealer. It's Vera who is 0 for 1. He uh, strikes out. One away. Brings up Tony Vega. Hit the home run last time up. What can he do this time? There goes Takazawa. Takazawa gets there. A 13th stolen base of the season for him. And let's see if Vega can drive in a run. Vega pops up a full count. And uh, in comes the center fielder. Makes the catch. Takazawa goes back. Two away to bring in Keston Hura now. Who uh, 0 for 0. Did he walk last time up as well, I think, didn't he? A 2-1 pitch. Keston Hura. A well-hit ground ball, but straight to the third baseman to end the third. To the fourth we go. 
Agnes to face Mayers, who is 0 for 1 today. A 2-1 pitch, a ground ball to Vera at third, and over to first for 1 away. Torres now, who's 0 for 1. Another 1-1 one -one pitch, and that is well hit into left field. Woods is going back and makes the catch at the fence. Two away. I thought that was leaving, I've got to be honest. Uh, Stanton now, who is 1 for 1. A full count. Eknes can't get the strike out. And it drops in front of Harrison, who uh, good throw in to keep it to a single, but a two-out single it is for Bell now, who is 0 for 1. A 3-0 pitch. Eknes, don't do this to me, mate. You're doing so well. Two on, two out now for Rojas, who is 0 for 1. An 0-2 pitch, and he's hitting to load the bases. Eknes, come on, Joshy boy. It's Adams at the plate. He is 0 for 1. A 1-2 pitch. Oh, he's just building the tension. 199 for the season now. And um, that was a bit too tense for our liking. James Wood to lead us off. 0 for 1 today. A 1-1 pitch. 2-0, we are up. And Wood has popped that up to center field. And that will be one away. Harrison now comes in. 0 for 1 today. A 3-1 pitch. Harrison swings. It is deep into left field. But it's holding up. And it will be 2 away. And it brings Lopez in, who is 0 for 1. An 0 1 pitch. Two out, no one on. Lopez has not really got all of that, and he's going to beat it out as well. Infield hit. So Hunt now, who walked last time up. There goes the runner, and not even close. Kind of had to go for it, I suppose. Two out, a bit of a rubbish batter at the plate. So I understand that. Pereira comes in 0 for 1 today. Let's see what Actus can do with him. An 0 1 pitch. And that is popped up into foul territory. And it will be caught by the catcher. All right. Nelson, who is 0 for 1, comes in. An 0 2 pitch. Is this number 200? He's hit him again. Stop hitting people at 0 and 2. There's no need for that. If you're going to hit them, hit them first pitch. They probably suspect it less at 0 and 2, don't they? So it's probably. If you're going to hit your target, that's probably the better time to do it. But. Save your arm, mate. All right, that's uh, two away. The catch just made out there in uh, left, uh, right center field. Look at the defensive outfield we've got right now. They may not be able to bat very well, but they can certainly field. And that is through the left side of the infield. So a two-out single to put two on. And uh, top of the order is uh, getting it done for them. It is Torres, who's 0 for 2 now. It's a first pitch swing. It's a, oh, it's a wonderful play by Vera. Oh, that is excellent, excellent defensive work. All right, it is Hunt to lead us off now. Walked the first time around, a 1-0 pitch, and Hunt has grounded it to the third baseman. That's easy. And that is one away. Abrams now, who's 0 for 1. An 0-2 pitch. Is CJ going to do anything with that? He's got it straight back up the middle. And Abrams gets himself a one-out single. Now, he stole third base last time around. Can he still second this time? Takazawa, who has sacked himself and walked. Sacked himself sounds like he's whacked his balls, doesn't it? He's sacrificed, bunted himself. <laughs> All right, Vera. It's one on, two out. 0-1 oh, pitch. Vera has hit it into right field. It's going to drop in. Abrams should... No, he's going to go for third. He's not going to get there. Oh, it's maybe ever so slightly silly, but there we go. Into the sixth we go. Stanton to face Ekner. Stanton is two for two today. A 2-2 two -two pitch. And there's number 200 of the season for Ekner. All right, Josh Bell comes in now. 0 for 1 today. A 1-0 pitch. And that is that is deep. It is very deep. And it is gone. So it is 2-1 in the top of the sixth now. 380 feet. And, uh, well, Bell did not miss it, did he? So we're a little less comfortable than we were if we were comfortable at 2-0. Rojas now, who's 0 for 1, comes in. It's a 1-1 pitch. One out, of course. No one on. And that is well hit into left field. And Wood gets it. Gets it in. But it is a one-out single for a Dems now. Adams even. A full count. And he gets the strike. That looked maybe like he got one there. So with two away, runner at first. Pereira comes in over two today. A 3-1. And we've walked him. Nelson, oh, this is still a little tense, isn't it? 0 for 1, first pitch swing. Nelson, that is easy for the pitcher. Over to first. We go to the bottom of the sixth. Our lead cut in half. And Vega will lead us off. He is 1 for 2 today, a 1-2 pitch. Tony Vega is hit. 
up the first he goes Keston Hura now at the plate 0 for 1 a 2-2 two -two pitch Hura strikes out for 1 away and it will be James Wood now 0 for 2 a 1-1 one -one pitch oh that gets away from the catcher Vega will get the second not many get does that count as a stolen base for him it must do because it's his first of the season so it's the only way he's going to steal a base a full count on Wood he gets walked so 2 on 1 out and it is Monte Harrison, who does have a little bit of power. He's got three hits all season. One of them's a home run. And he strikes out. So it's Lopez. What we would love is one of Lopez's uh, patented hits into one of the corners here. It's an 0-1 pitch, and he's grounded it to the second baseman. That'll do it for the sixth. 2-1, we lead the Yankees on the final day of the season, needing a win. It's Volpe to face Eknes at the top of the seventh. Volpe 0 for 3. It's a full count. And Eknes gets his another strikeout. One away. May is now to face the new man, Reese Olsen. So Eknes goes, what's that? 6.1, giving up one earned run. That's a decent outing for him, isn't it? Let's see what Olsen can do now. It's a 2-2 pitch on Mayers. He's one for three today. He's popped that up. And that should be easy for Takazawa. And that'll be two away for Torres now, who's 0 for three. It is a 2-0 pitch. It's up the middle, into the shift though. Abrams is there. And we stretch. We stretch at 2-1. Oh, it's tense. Okay, welcome back. It is now time for you to vote on your MVP for this season. Thank you everybody who nominated. We got uh, two nominees in the end, uh, both with no multiple nominations. Uh, so in alphabetical order, the first man is Keston Hura, the first baseman, a batting average of 273 for him this season, 36 home runs, 95 RBIs, and a war of 2.8. And the second nominee is Shohai Otani, uh, 264 batting average for him, 37 home runs, 102 RBIs, and a war of 4.0. So as ever, there'll be a link down the top of the description. Uh, if you click on that, it'll take you through to a straw poll, and uh, we will uh, announce the winner when we have our end-of-season awards, hopefully not next episode. Hopefully we can hold on to this lead and find ourselves in the postseason, but uh, let's go find out. All right, bottom of the seventh, it is Blake Hunt to lead us off against Garrett Cole. Hunt 0 for 1, first pitch swing, and he has grounded it to the third baseman, and he will be out at first. So back to the top of the order we go, and it's Abrams who's 1 for 2. It's a 1-0 pitch. Can CJ get himself on base? He's got it up the middle, but to the shortstop, and that is 2 away for Takazawa now, who is 0 for 1. Rain begins to fall. It's not a game yet, is it? Maybe Takazawa needs to get out, and then it can get rained off. Takazawa looks to lay down a bunt, and he is going to get there. Bunts himself aboard. And it is uh, Vera now, who is one for three today. A full count. Vera gets it into left field. Takazawa is running with two out, of course, and he's going to get to third. And it is Vega to face the new man, Laseki. ERA of 535 for him. Can Vega extend this lead of ours? It's a one-two pitch. Two out. Runners at the corners. Come on, Tony. Oh, he strikes out, and that ends the seventh. If we want to rein it off now, I think we would be we would be the winners. Stanton will face Olsen, who is uh, he's two for three today, a two-two pitch. Olsen gives up the hit up the middle, so a leadoff single for Stanton. And Holden Powell will now come on to face Josh Bell, who hit the home run last time up. Powell gets the strikeout. One away, runner at first for Rojas, who's one for two. A full count. Oh, Powell's given up a walk. That looked close as well. Willie Adams now, who's 0 for 3. A 2-2 two -two pitch again. Come on, Holden. He gets a strikeout. Two away. Can he get Pereira now? Oh, that'll do it for him. Denny Hines is coming in. Denny Hines, ERA of 426. We've not seen much of him. It's a 1-2 pitch. Come on, Denny. Come on, Denny. Yes! That does it for the top of the eighth. We are still 2-1 up. Keston Hura will lead us off. He is 0 for 2 today. A 1-2 pitch. Keston Hura strikes out. 1 away. James Wood 0 for 2. A 3-1 pitch. Can Wood get himself on board? He can. Not a massive threat on the bases. It's Jerry Garcia coming on now. ERA of 442 for him. He's going to face Monte Harrison, who's 0 for 3. It's an 0-1 pitch. Come on, Monty. Monty Harrison, he's got a oh, double play ball. So we go to the ninth, 2-1 up. 
And it's going to be Denny Hines to continue to Nelson. 0 for 2 he is today. Can Denny get it done? It's popped up. It should be easy for Harrison in right field. One away. Hines to Volpe, who's 0 for 4. A 2-2 pitch. Can he sit him back down? He can. Oh, that looked like a bit of a call that we got as well. They're down to their final out. It's Hines versus Mayers. He's one for four. Can Hines send us to the postseason? It's a 2-2 pitch. Two out. No one on. And Hines has done it. We are going to the postseason. So, Denny Hines, we've not seen much of him this year. He's only pitched 7.2 innings. But what... What a time to come in and uh, prove what you can do. He brings a level headedness to the clubhouse. And I think we saw that closing out that game for us. That was magnificent. Really, really happy with that. Uh, the pitchers showed up for once, didn't they? And oh, how we needed that. Because the bats, uh, well, I mean, we don't have bats. So they did, they did their best, didn't they? So in the end, we end up 14 games back of Cleveland, but uh, second in the wildcard race, which I believe means we will be facing Chicago in Chicago in a best of three series. So hopefully we'll be able to uh, to get the better of them. Uh, Green ends up leading the league in uh, batting average. It's uh, only second and 49 home runs for Vega. I mean, only. I mean, it's still a wonderful season. He is tied top of RBIs, but he won't get that for probably some reason. Abrams ends up third in stolen bases and Otani third in on base plus slug. And as you would expect, there is absolutely nothing to write home about about our pitchers this season. So there we go. This is how the postseason looks. Uh, the winners of uh, our series will then go and face Cleveland. Uh, and then obviously it'll go from there. And if we look at our record against uh, the White Sox this season, we had a losing record, 5-7. Uh, and seven. Um, So that's not ideal. We ended up third in the uh, American League for runs scored. 15th, though, for runs against. And that is the problem, isn't it? Uh, they were almost the opposite. They only scored uh, 703. So they were 12th in runs scored, and they but 4th in runs against. So it's very much, you know, two opposite uh, teams. It's whether our pitching can be uh, less worse than their hitting, it appears. So let's hope that that's the case. And we should, as a reminder, get Otani back as well. And that will be a massive, massive uh, bonus to us. But if you've enjoyed that, make sure you hit thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new. And I'll see you next time. Uh, whether it's Manoa that goes, I'm not sure. We'll have to have a bit of a play. It'll probably be Walling if he's fit. Um, so yeah, it'll be game one of the wildcard series next time. And hopefully... We can get that job done. Take care.